developing black industrialists. How many black people own factories that employ more than 100 people? And I'm not talking about bought a factory from a white man that employs 100 people. I'm talking about started it from the ground. Mm. I started my business 15 years ago. Everybody thought I was crazy and I've just sold it to an American investor group and I've got my own money. And as a result, I'm saying, let me invest in other entrepreneurs. So I'm not saying this for theory. I've done it. You've done it, you know how it And works. I didn't ask for pity. I didn't say to people, give me the business because I was black or give me the, no, I said, give me the business because I'm the best at what I do. Yeah. You come against Wissi Tembawa, you better have your wits about you because I'm going to take you out in any space. Yeah. And the kind of belief I think is necessary. We had this belief in the 80s when black people ran spaza shops. Right? We had it in our own townships economies. Oh, we've, lo we've lost it somewhere along the line. Yeah, because we just sold this thing about pity now. And all of a sudden we're all looking for pity. I don't want pity. Don't give me business for pity. Give it to me because I'm the best at what I do. I promise you, you come against me, you will not win. That's amazing. And if you if, and if you come against me and win, then I'm willing to concede. You know what? You were better at this. Let me try something else. Yeah. That's what we need to do to really build this country. That's you. That's you. You, you're one in a million. You really are. I mean, you've got this passion <laughs> burning inside of you. You've got a mind. No, don't look at me like that. Because you are. <laughs> and money does not know color, does it? hundred percent. Which is the thing, right? So we, in this country, we've taken a, and this is a, I'm very unpopular for having this view, by the way. But entrepreneurship is not a race thing. You're either going to do it or you're not.